Welcome to my video on how to use Fantasy Pros platform with your Yahoo Mock Draft. I am in the, Mahu, the Yahoo Mock Draft room and uh, the lobby, and I'm looking for a Mock Draft to join. And I'm going to go ahead and join one right here and uh, get myself signed up. I'm currently in the 12th position. And I'm uh, uh, going to link that with the, the Fantasy Pros website. Look, while that's uh, loading up, I'm going to take a few moments to show you a little thing, a couple of things over here on the Fantasy Pros website. They have something called Draft Simulator and Draft Assistant, and it's really easy to get confused. I think Fantasy Pros could do a few things to improve that uh, capability. And if there's noise here, I apologize. I'm it's a beautiful day, and I'm sitting out on my deck, and uh, sometimes the wind is blowing. You'll see here it says start a mock draft. Uh, that is a automated mock, mock draft. It's like a, you know, it's, uh, it's not against people. It's against machine uh, and computers. It, it still uses the Fantasy Pros logic and the expert ratings, which is totally different than the other type of, you know, automated mock drafts that I've used. So it's still great. It, you know, and, and a good way to actually learn some things. You, when you click on that link, you'll see you can set up the draft configuration that you um, most lack, like to match and what match, matches yours. And it shows you what you're going to be drafting against. And then you go ahead and you start your, your fantasy draft here in a mock draft. And what I like about this is it gives you a chance to really learn the platform. It allows you to draft against uh, the... Again, the using the Fantasy Pros logic, and um, and it's never it's not timed, so you have time to kind of like really get used to it. Um, some of these uh, capabilities, like Pick Predictor and that kind of thing, you can use in the free free version. Um, you can use these. You can do this draft in the free version, but you can't use Pick Predictors, and uh, you don't get some of the. Um, special features of being able to link to a, an automated mock draft without going premium. So let me go back over here and uh, take you into the actual link of a um, mock draft. You have to go to Draft Assistant. Here you're going to see again add a mock draft. And this is the thing where Fantasy Pros needs to clean things up. I mean, you know, is this a mock draft over here? Is this a mock draft over here? Draft Lobby? And then is, this says mock draft, and then draft assistant over here says mock draft. I mean, there's so many things. It's like, you know, which one is it, guys? And so, um, but I figured this out, and you go to add mock draft, and you get this link that pops up underneath, and you call up the Yahoo mock draft. So let's go back over here to our page, and we can see that the mock draft is now loading in. And uh, that's going to open up into a standard Yahoo Mock Draft Room. Now, if any of you have seen the ESPN video that I did for this, it's very similar. Um, it opens to the ESPN Light Drafting Room, but the Light Drafting Room doesn't have sound. And when you're kind of busy looking at cheat sheets and everything, you need those audio cues to tell you when somebody's drafted or when you're on the clock. And uh, this, um, this connection to Yahoo allows for the sound to work. The on the downside is it doesn't um, let you make the pick from uh, Fantasy Pros. Okay, so now before we run out of time really quick here, let's make sure we move on. So copy the URL, go over here to your same uh, Fantasy Pros website, uh, connect to the Yahoo Mock Draft, and click OK. And this is simply allows you to choose which cheat sheet, cheat sheet you want to use. Okay, so here we are. We are now connecting with the Yahoo Draft. And you can see up here, I'm 11 picks away, and there is currently somebody on the clock, and that pick is going to begin, and those picks will appear here on the bottom left-hand side. My picks will appear... There's the audio cues, which I'm really thankful to have that we don't have with the ESPN system. But we at least know now that a draft is happening, and uh, when we're personally on the clock. All right, so now we're into the system, and uh, let me just explain a few things which you can see while it's happening here. These are the expert ratings. This is the average draft position. 
Here is the expert votes, the percentage of votes who would pick David Johnson in this position, strength of schedule for him, and uh, the value-based drafting score, which essentially is like a differential between uh, two players. And this is kind of helpful because if you're looking at the difference between a running back, you know, there's 14 points between David Johnson and Lavion Bell. Over here on the wide receivers, there's um, only seven. And so, you know, what that's basically showing is that, that you know, uh, David Johnson offered more value uh, difference between uh, him and Lavion Bell than the wide receivers do. They also scored higher, which is really helpful, too, because you want that information as well to know which players to choose. So um, now I'm going to go back to suggested players to considered. Uh, of course, you know, depending on what you're looking to do in the draft, you can choose by position. All right. So now uh, one other thing I want to show you is the pick predictor. I really like this. This tells you the chance or the odds that certain players will be chosen before your pick. I am six picks away from being on the clock. And uh, right here, it's showing me the likelihood that these players will be taken based on who's left on the board, who's already been selected. So it's a really intelligent uh, algorithm. I really like it. And uh, it helps me kind of focus on these light green guys because while I'll take one of these guys probably in a heartbeat, um, this allows me to kind of look at some of these players and, and target the ones that are probably to be available when I get ready to pick. So I'm now three uh, spots away from picking. I'm going to go back over here to Yahoo and just take a look and see. I'll be in positions 12 and 13 in this Snake draft. And um, now back to the draft assistant because I'm just mere moments away from being on the clock. And there's my cue. Uh, as we know, it is my turn to pick. Well, A.J. Green has slipped all the way down to the last pick in the draft. So I have to go to Yahoo to make this pick. So I'm going to go ahead and, and select him as my uh, next draft choice. I'm going to use that time, leave that time on the clock to make my next pick. And, uh, you know, I kind of like the idea of starting off the draft with two really solid wide receivers. So there he goes. Uh, A.J. Green will now show up here at the, the draft log, and he was my selection. That's highlighted blue uh, where it will stay. Jordy Nelson is still the top pick um, recommendation at this point. I can look at the wide receivers and see what uh, options there are. I'm not a big fan of um, DeMarco Murray at this place, so I'm going to go back over here, and I'm going to take Jordy Nelson and uh, select him. And you can see now that will automatically be updated, and he'll appear right up here next to A.J. Green. And there he goes. And I am now... 22 picks here till my next selection and uh, looking at this for one round. This is basically telling me what the algorithm predicts the players that will be taken by the time I pick next. So really, I can start seeing who I probably should start looking at as my draft selection in the third round. So there you go. I think that is how... Um, a good overview of how we can connect with the Yahoo mock drafts. We're drafting against people. We're seeing how we're doing, uh, how the system is performing. It gets, um, uh, you know, how, how you're going to have to really toggle between the two platforms, the two pages, you, you know, so that you, uh, that you become very proficient with it so that when it's time for you to go here again, back over to the Fantasy Pros uh, draft assistant and, link to and launch your draft, you'll want to, uh, uh, you'll know how to do it. Of course, you know, you make sure you add your league first. You should do that now and, uh, you know, and connect with your league. And then when it is the actual draft time, if it's September 5th at 845 Eastern, then I click this launch uh, button and it will automatically open to my draft window and be waiting uh, uh, with the draft lobby. Um, with everybody else in my draft. So I hope that helps you um, figure out how to use the draft uh, assistant and connect with the Yahoo mock draft uh, for 2017. So I wish you all the best of luck and uh, go out there and win your league this year. I hope you enjoy this.